Use the half angle identity to find the value of cosine of 105 degrees. All right, well, it wants me to turn cosine of 105 degrees, and let me throw this in over here. It wants me to turn it into cosine of 210 over 2. Now, using my formula for half angle identities, cosine of stuff is going to equal the positive or negative, and I'll deal with that in a second. Okay, the positive or negative, 1 plus cosine of whatever this numerator is, so in this case, 210, all over 2. Now, 210 lives in quadrant 3. Cosine is negative in quadrant 3, so this plus or minus is just going to be negative. While I'm at it, if I want to take the cosine of 210, 210 is negative, and that would make me have a reference angle of 210 minus 180, 30 degrees. So the cosine of 30 degrees is going to be root 3 over 2, and all of this is still going to be over 2. Now this is supposed to be trapped in the square root. I didn't make my square root big enough. My bad. My bad. Now I'm going to rewrite this just because I know, even though it doesn't really look like it, I know that this square root covers everything, including that 2 on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as the square root of, and let's do this, let's kill two birds with one, no, actually I'm not going to do it, I have plenty of space. 1 minus root 3 over 2 over root 2. Okay, if I multiply the top and the bottom by root 2, that helps me rationalize this guy. So let me move that up over here, let me change some colors, and that's going to give me negative. And a square root times a square root means I can just multiply these guys together so I can distribute within the square root. So 2 times 1 is 2, minus 2 times negative root 2 over 2 is uh, just root 2. I'm sorry, that's root 3. Yeah, I was wondering, well, that, that something looks weird there. That's supposed to be a 3. That's a terrible looking 3. Root 3. And that's going to be all over 2. And I'm not sure if there's any more that I can do with this. I mean, I... I know the square root inside the square root looks kind of funky, but I think that's it. I think I'm just going to call quits there. I mean, I, I've rationalized everything. There's no more square roots on a bottom. So, yeah, that's my answer. It's not pretty, but that's my answer.